11 years ago, 160 miles down the road in Imola, a new exciting motorsport series Sports season. The reverse grid, though, today, headed by the man who won this race a year ago, Mitch Evans, goes from pole position. Jordan King was one of many in the field that felt their race was ruined. He's on the front row. Can make a Five lights for the 250th time in GP2. We're racing. It's a decent getaway for King, who leads immediately. Evans getting bogged down in his racing engineering. Collision there between Giotto and King. Uh, and Evans, I should say, as they came together. And it's Nato who's going to snatch the lead away from King. So racing engineering one and two, but it's Nato who gets the jump up from fourth to first in the matter of 610 metres. As the guys in the pit lane join, but it's and Nato Giotto knows it. Oh, it's going to be a spin there. Oli Roland tags around Luca Giotto, who spins at the second chicane. And there's contact there for Giovinazzi. He has had contact there, and he's lost the top element of his So let's review what happened here. You can see just a straight tag from the nose of Oli Roland. Round went Giotto, who would not have been expecting that at all. Latifi off the road in the background. Let's try and find out what happened to Mitch Evans, who's the brightly, bright yellow car in the middle of the pack. It's Malia there who tags him round. So it's Gustav Malia and Oli Roland spinning. First of all, Luca Giotto and then Mitch Evans. On board with Giovinazzi, it's going to show us that Malia was very ambitious there. And that will almost certainly be a penalty for the man who currently is in fourth. And he had... Giovinazzi off the road there, the gravel. Luca Giotto is out. No Sunday heroics in 2016 for the man who, remember, started third on the grid. And Mitch Evans has gone We've as well. We've seen so many moments this year. And we're racing again. Gasly very close indeed to Jordan King, but there's nothing he can do about it. And so the field really getting spread out there. You can see they were quite close, but they've definitely spread apart. Giovinazzi once again. In the toe, you can see that even without DRS, he was really strong off the parabolica, opening it up, looking very good indeed, pulling to the inside line. Is this going to be fourth? Is it going to be fourth position in the race? Yes, it is. It was anyway with the penalty, but now it's the order on track. And we can see Markelov and Lin getting very close together. Markelov has just set the fastest lap, absolutely oh, vital around this racetrack. And even with DRS, Pierre Gasly not able despite being in range to do anything about it. Artem Markalov is, though, he's going past Alex Lin and taking seventh position in to the first chicane. A lovely move on the dam's driver to move ahead. And the next car up the road is Nobuhara Matsushita. Thankfully, it's King. And Sorotkin is out. One of the main championship contenders retires. He's ART with DRS disabled as a result. And that really is a disaster for the man who remember that going in up to 13th but now he's off the road at the first turn and that's taken out a polystyrene block sergio can dealing with the first chicane as only so it's not only to the ardens but he's now got sean galeo who had a torrid day yesterday getting black flag but he's down the inside will can give him the room they nearly collide he's all over the road they nearly collide again on the exit and somehow two drivers who we see a lot of incidents from have survived the second an issue at all this is a replay of Kanamasas and galeo going wheel to wheel pushed off the racetrack getting a little bit of air Kanamasas keeping his foot in galeo did really nicely not to run into Kanamasas, actually. Happy, well, the guys are pushing me out of the back, okay? Because he's injured. He's much closer than he was the previous lap, but we can see once again, he's not getting the toe until very late on. He's got the move, King to the inside. Gasly's going to try and go right around the outside. That's Gasly decide to risk it yes he does still their level still nothing between them who's going to get the better traction and take second place in this race and the moment is up for grabs with king refusing to yield as they go side by side through curva grande gasly just inching ahead the king is keeping his foot to the floor nothing between them as they head to the second chicane gasly has the inside line and surely now has second position in the race and Gasly is a major factor, but he's going to have to go defensive now from King. He's off the racing line. He's really not where he wants to be. King trying to go around the outside of the Lesmo, keeping his foot in it, and they run side by side. But finally, Jordan King runs out of traction, and Pierre Gasly taking it for the second zone on this racetrack, nowhere near as effective as the first. So Gasly and King 
racing each other wonderfully fairly there. King not focusing on shutting the door, focusing on the traction out of the corner, and he nearly held on. Great couple of laps of defense from Jordan King, but Gasly knowing that if he wants to take victory forward at the moment, and we'll see in the coming laps. Artem Markolov lining up Nobuhara Matsushita in the background there. You can see King still very close with Gasly with the use of DRS. And with the use of DRS, Artem Markolov is through. You can see in terms of the graphic there that King lost an awful lot of time battling Gasly to the car behind. And we're on board with Raffaele Marcello in the second running Russian time. We've got Kanamasas in front, we've got Jimmy Eriksson in front. Kanamasas going past Eriksson, but missing the breaking point. And Raffaele Marshall. They're going to be racing once again. Kanamasas and Pete, the two cars that brought out the safety car yesterday. So that was Kanamasas sailing straight on, and a wonderful move for Raffaele Marcello. Kanamasas completely outbreaking himself, knew it as well, knew what he was going to do way before the braking zone, didn't fancy the polystyrene box this time. at the moment. So it might sound slightly rude of Jordan King to tell his engineer to go away, as Lin had a run there, and Matsushita in the background, and uh, he's not able to make the move. Still Matsushita clinging on to the position, but for how much longer is Lin going to try and move into the first Lesmo? No, he shuts the door. And the ART driver struggling at this stage for grip. He has been slowed by the ART of Matsushita, so as Markolov gets on the tail of Malia, Lin to the inside, thinks better of it, into the Ascari chicane, we saw some moves there in GP3 earlier this morning, but you've got to be right alongside to Rivanazzi, so two battles to look at on this famous pit straight. We're focusing on Markolov chasing down Malia, and now Giovinazzi with the use of DRS has the position, squeezes King, and Giovinazzi is up to third once again. Great tyre management, so he takes the position, but behind Markolov not able to make any progress. And he's really hurting, and Malia now with the run on King. So Malia just has to fight what's in front of him despite that penalty. Has to be careful not to hit King because that really would be difficult to explain if you hit another driver knowing that you had a penalty great drive off the second chicane though nothing he can do at the moment if he doesn't it's going to be extremely difficult Malia has the run on King this is more for pride than anything else and he doesn't tough it out around the outside doesn't risk it that's going to give a huge opportunity off the corner to Markolov and Markolov is alongside does he have the inside line is he prepared to risk it Malia knows he's there He's running wide, Markolov still not able to do anything, but this is going to set up a run, because remember, there are two... As we DRS. see, there's the race leader, there's the man in second place, King going defensive, having to defend from Malia, who is losing time to the pack behind, and will be dropped out of the points, but this, really, King having to defend not only from Malia, Malia with a great momentum, and King's got to be careful here. He doesn't want to over-defend for a driver that's got a penalty. Might be worth letting him go and defend from Markolov. Malia moves up to fourth, and he's run off the road as he does so. So not the cleanest move. Malia looking in his mirrors to check where King was, and King just needs yesterday. Such a quick race here. Great momentum for Markolov as we go down to the Ascari. Is he alongside? Is he going to make the move on King? He's got the inside line. Is King going to tap it out? Is he going to brave it out around the outside? Nothing between them. Huge oversteering moments. And this will bring back into play Matsushita, who has a terrific run on Markolov now, as they go down to the final corner of the last lap with Lin in the mix as well. Norman Nato takes his second victory of the season here at Monza. A brilliant drive from fourth in the grid to First in the race, Gasly is second, Giovinazzi is third, and just ahead, it's over the line, side by side, with Lin. Did he beat Matsushita? Yes, he did. King managed to claim fifth position, Markolov was sixth, and Lin beat Matsushita by hundreds. Taking another victory as they did. This is how they sorted out the final positions. So Matsushita getting hurt by Markolov and King's battle. You see how slow he is off the parabolic, a massive oversteer moment. And as they came across the line, we see Markolov desperately trying to get past King. Right here, ran out of road. 
over the line, nothing between them, but look at this. There is nothing in that. Norman Natto is the winner after 21 laps of Monza. Pierre Gasly in second position at another podium for him. Giovinazzi joining him. What a weekend again for Prima. King was fourth. Markelov was fifth. Sixth, Alex Lynn just edging out. Nobuhara Matsushita by a hundredth of a second. Nicholas Latifi edging out Malia. And you can see that's how close it was. Just two.